Hello. How are you today? Today has been a great day for me. It, today is the actually, even though in a post I did earlier today on Facebook, I said today was my grandmother's birthday, mama. But it's really tomorrow, October the 10th. I got up this morning <laughs> thinking it was October the 10th until I checked my calendar later on after I made my morning post. But that's okay. My mom was the love of my life. It's okay if I celebrate her birthday early. My mom lived to be almost 97 years old. Uh, today, uh, tomorrow actually, would be her 103rd birthday. Growing up in the Old South, I lived, my mother and I lived with my grandmother. And uh, we lived in a three room, straight through shotgun house with the bathroom on the back porch. And in those days, the late 1940s, early 1950s, particularly in the deep south, Greenville, South Carolina. The neighborhoods where people lived were separated. As an African American, as a black American, um, those were not words used in those days. We were colored Americans. So I lived in a colored neighborhood called Green Line. That neighborhood is still existing today. Um, but it's different. It's not like the old days when my grandmother and my mother and I lived in that shotgun house. But you know, I was so very loved. I didn't know anything about the complications of society or my life as a colored American. All I knew is I was loved. I had happy fun days growing up, great birthdays, wonderful Easter's, and very Merry Christmases. And I think that no matter how and where, uh, whether it's a separate neighborhood or a neighborhood where everybody lives together, the most important thing to a child is being happy and being loved and I certainly was and being a happy child it is my fervent belief it impacts you being happy as an adult being well grounded I truly believe that you know you've heard me talk about my other book R is for reading books. But there is another book that I wrote called Meet You in the Soup, which details many of the memories of my childhood, living with my grandmother in that sh shotgun house straight through. My name for my grandmother was Mama. And I'm going to read some of what I wrote on the back cover, of what is written on the back cover. Among my earliest memories of childhood, I remember my morning goodbyes to my grandmother with expectancy for her return at day's end. Meet you in the soup were our parting goodbye words, yet at the same time, Meet you in the soup also held a promise of my grandmother's return to our family at the end of the day so we could all be together just in time for supper. Now, supper, particularly in the South, especially in the South, means a late evening meal in maybe anywhere between five, six, 
o'clock in the evening. Uh, maybe even up to maybe even seven o'clock. It's called supper. And I knew I could expect my mom home in time for supper. Even though living on Green Line in the old colored neighborhood in the deep south of the late 1940s and early 1950s was a separate American experience compared to uh, the American experience of the majority. But yet in the innocence of childhood, I was, under, I was unaware of, of any complications or life complications for colored Americans. All I know is that I was encircled by love. I had fun days, wonderful happy birthdays, and very merry Christmases. I remember loving to ride my tricycle. I would ride my tricycle in my mother and my grandmother's backyard singing songs, favorite childhood songs. One song in particular was Mr. Sandman. And I would ride my tricycle and um, my mother used to put my hair in Shirley Temple curls. And I would ride with my Shirley Temple curls bouncing here, there, everywhere, singing songs. I was a happy child. No matter what the circumstances, complications of segregation or living being relegated to only live in a certain community as a happy child I didn't know that I was just happy because I was so loved thank you so much for listening my other book meet you in the soup I had someone ask me just the other day well where can I buy well amazon.com BarnesandNoble.com and um, CreateSpace.com and if you live in the Houston area my book is also in Barnes and Noble right at Highway 6 in West Hama leaving out Sugar Land going into the western part of, of uh, West Houston but most everybody has an Amazon account or Barnes & Noble account. You can buy my book there. Thank you.